Uh, hello and welcome to my thoughts while standing in the queue. Today I was thinking about Davenports. Whatever happened to them? Is there anyone left who knows what a Davenport is? For your information, it was a glorious piece of furniture where fantasies came true. People these days call it a couch or a sofa, but those aren't very accurate synonyms. A real Davenport sat in your living room. Does anybody know what that is either? That was the place where no one watched television or listened to music. You gathered in the living room to drink, talk, and socialize. The centerpiece of that room was always the Davenport, and ours was a kidney-shaped number that sat in our bay window. Now, the Davenport had room for three people, so when we gathered there, we would make plans to do outrageous and glorious things back in the 40s, like a taffy pull or a cocktail party. Cocktail, believe it or not, we didn't drink until we were 18 or 19. I had a taffy pull in Toledo, Ohio back in 1949. I was 16. My parents were out for the evening, and I had to babysit my obnoxious, demanding baby sister. And I decided to make the evening a bearable one by inviting all my teenage friends over to make taffy. The idea was you boiled water, sugar, and corn syrup until it reached 250 degrees on the candy thermometer. You picked a partner, greased your hands with butter, grabbed a huge clump of this very sticky, viscous material, and you pulled it until you could cut it into pieces uh, and eat it because it became harder. Candy making is a very messy procedure, especially when you have taffy to pull. And by the time my parents returned home, their hands stuck to every doorknob. My sister was welded to the mattress of her crib. The dining room table had dishes glued to the tablecloth, and several of us teenagers were stuck together. And you know what happens when two young persons' hormones mingle. I was never allowed to have another party ever again in our house, but I was allowed to sit on that Davenport. My most exciting memories were when my boyfriend sat beside me when he took me home after a movie. Wonderful chemistry can happen when a boy and a girl sit close together and they're 16 years old that way. I got the first of several heady kisses on our Davenport. Remember, we were never allowed to forget that my parents were upstairs. When things got really hot and heavy, our dog would jump up on the Davenport and give us warning looks because in those days we knew enough to stop what we were doing in time. Remember, there were no birth control pills, no easy abortions in the 40s, and boys only used condoms when they paid for sex. I was free, of course. But all oh, the discoveries, the dreams, the excitement that took place on that wonderfully magic Davenport, no couch, no sofa, no armchair, can equal its potential. It was the ignition we used to start what was to come, and we hoped it would come very soon. What a terrible loss it is that that Davenport is no more. And thank you very much for joining me for my thoughts while standing in the queue.